Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to something that's been long forgotten, how to make a game. And seeing as it is the 12th, today is the release of my book, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to take, oh my gosh, you can't really read the things. I'm going to take my book and I'm going to recreate it into Roblox and I'm going to turn it into a model and it's going to be a free model for you to download if you want it. I hope um, I can get it done within this amount of time. But what I've done is I, I've um, thought of this little thing. You might notice that I have a, a beanie on. That's because my hair's not done. I, I can't really hear all that well because of the beanie. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, the first things first is I'm going to need to make my book into like a cover art. So in order to do that, I have, where is it? I have some photos pulled up right here. I've got my handy dandy Blue's Clues um, GIMP program, which is GNU Image Manipulation Program. Um, what we have to do is we have to take these photos that I've taken here, and we're going to have to crop and change and pull them into, oh gosh, does that not, does not compute. Um, Oh, that's because, okay, hold on. Uh, let's see, wait, is there a way to file extract? Oh, look, extract. Extract, oh, where would you like them? And photos. Uh, slash, no, that's, that's fine. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. So, there we go. Okay, cool. Now I can drag these in. Uh, original rotated rotate it I'm gonna do that with all of these rotate rotate I don't know why it went sideways like that was weird anyhow okay so now I should be able to get those out of the way so as you can see each one of my layers over here is part of the book yes oh I forgot I was gonna have some background music for you guys here <coughs> have some background music now you'll notice that these are not straight lines so what I've got to do first is I've got to make these all straight and I'm going to cut and paste and stretch these to manipulate them into a single lined image so let's go ahead and select our current active layer I'm going to go to image uh, where is it <coughs> Crop to selection. Now I'm just going to manipulate this. So let's go to transition. Where is it? The new GIMP program. I don't have all the way down yet. So I'm just going to stretch this up like that. Stretch this over like that. Pull this down just like that. And then right there. I want it as close to the edge as I can get it. Perfect. Okay. Transform. Now, my little finger is down there in a way, so we're going to have to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and anchor this layer. Come down here. See how there's a little bit of a shadow coming off my finger? We don't like that. So I'll just take and copy this little portion. I'm just going to paste that right down here, like that, like a happy little cloud. <laughs> okay, so I'm no Bob Ross, but welcome to the painting, uh, joy of painting. I'm going to use my smudge tool, which kind of like pushes and pulls colors. I'm just going to blend these in because there's a slight line right there and I don't like it. So I'll just blend that down like that. That's good. Now this... This might be a little bit of a problem just because that shadow goes right around the edge of that. But we can take care of it. There we go. And you'll notice there's a little bit of black down here at the bottom. That's okay because it won't really show up that bad once we have the final product on there. But I do want to blend this stuff in really well. Let's come on down here. Just like that. There we go. Blend, 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 blend. And by the way, this is the first part to like modeling, 
creation, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Actually, the edge is like all the way up the edge, isn't it? <clears throat> Don't like it. Okay, we'll just make sure that this is all pushed out to the edges. All the way around. Go up and check. I don't like that there's a bunch of little speckles, but I also think that that's going to give it some authentication or some <clears throat> real world feel. So I might, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to leave it. Um, let's hit that transform tool one more time, and I am going to pull that edge slightly off just so it's out of frame. Make sure we didn't cut off too much. Transform. There we go. So there is the cover. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is with all these others deselected, I'm going to do Control Shift E and I'm going to export that into that same folder and I'm going to say book underscore front. And we don't want a JPG, I want a PNG. Just like that. It's going to ask us for compression, take default. I'm good. Good with that. All right, next part is going to be that bind. Oh, and I missed the very top right there on the picture. I hope, yeah, it's just it's just blue, so we can fake that. So, same thing as before. We want to kind of cut out that portion. Only I'm going to pull this up just slightly so we get a little bit of an edge, and then I can fake the funk and do the rest. So, do image crop to selection. Ooh, it didn't give us the rest of the edge. That's okay. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. And it's it's close enough. Mm, you know, it just kind of looks like some, some shine. That's good. I'm gonna pull this up just slightly. Cut off the bottom because you can see Right down here at the bottom, there's a, a little bit of a edge to it. I'm gonna check the top. Oh, that's good. Image crop to selection. We're done with that one. Control Shift E, and we're gonna call this the spine. Spine of the book. Export. Uh, oh, yeah, PNG. Export. I'm gonna hide that image layer. Grab the next image layer. Oh gosh. Okay, that does not work because. <laughs> All right. So just Control Z. There we go. Because we don't we don't want to crop the whole thing. Just Control Z all the way. There we go. Oh, we had a lot of it. Oh, it it did everything. Even the. <laughs> oh gosh. Control Y. Put all four layers back. I messed up there, <laughs> that's okay. All right, so now we want the back of the book. So hide all the other layers except for the back. And I should probably do this on like a new page. I'm not going to. <laughs> all right, image, crop to selection, just like before. Now we're gonna use that perspective tool. Hit that, oh gosh, is it is it not anchored? under the layers. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Control Shift A. Select this one. Here we go. Now we can just pull that right up there to the very edge. I want to go a little bit past it. Now you can see there's a bend to the book, but that's also because it's a paperback, so I can't quite Get it all in frame, but that's okay. And what we're aiming for is this, see this yellow outline? That's the layer boundary. Transform that. Now looks like the bottom of the book, or the back of the book, sorry, not the bottom. And you can see all of our little details, especially the finger. Let's take, copy this portion. You can even see like there's a reflection. That's kind of weird. Let's take this over here like that. You're gonna see a nice definite line because it has like this weird fade because of the lighting. But that happens a lot in photographs. So what you have to do is you have to grab that smudgy tool. 
I'm just going to smudge that out. Fake it enough that we can we can say, hey, there was no finger there. Where where'd that finger go? And that's good. I might edge these off to the side. See how you can see a little bit of edge. Because that left edge, that's not going to be the spine. That's going to be the actual face of the book. Or not the not the face, but the uh, the pages side. So we want a nice definite edge right there. <coughs> That looks good. <coughs> Control Shift E. We're going to extract that to book underscore back dot PNG. Export. Take the defaults. Now you can adjust those so it's got a different compression rate. It's bigger or it's smaller. Whatever you want. That's fine. Um, and now that that's done, we need to go back to this one. So Control Z. We want to get all. Oh, wow. We went, we went a long ways, all right. <clears throat> Had a lot of fading, that's okay. Bring this all the way back, easy, 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 easy. And you can do this with a lot of different programs. Um, Photoshop, okay, I may have gone past my, no, there it is, okay. Control, Z, Z, there we go, okay. What about the transform, there we go. We're back to the transform in the crop. Unhide that last layer. This one's going to be a little bit more fun because I'm going to have to crop the layer first. I want to make sure I get the entirety of the spine. See how the spine is kind of pushed or wiggled like in this weird S format? <clears throat> We're going to try and straighten that out, but with a little bit different program, a little bit different technique. Let's go to crop image to selection. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Crop image to selection. Well, let's hit the perspective tool first off. Oh, wrong layer. Let's pull these over here like that. Like that. And then we gotta pull this way out. I'm going to make sure that this goes past because that is okay. Oh man, there's a big bend in that book. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that the corners and the edges are lined up. And transform. That looks pretty good. Not the best, but that's also why we can come in here and... Hold on. Is that floating? Yeah. I'm going to anchor that layer come in here and we're going to do this um, handle transform tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create handles all along the edge here. Right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Hold on. Can we? That is really not. Okay, reset. <clears throat> Let's try that again, buddy. One, two, how about the four corners? Now can we manipulate it? It's the same thing as a perspective tool, isn't it? It's not quite what I wanted, but that's okay. I'm gonna pull that out just slightly. Now, this I'm not quite happy with, so let's go ahead and resize. And I'm going to pull this, oh, hold shift. I'm just going to make it a little bit more flat. It's a little bit more compressed. Scale that down. Now, I should be able to come back in here. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to cut that edge way off. I'm going to cut the top off and I'm going to cut the bottom off. Image, crop to selection. That looks decent. And we can use that for the top. Uh, the, like the top of the book, the side of the book, the, the, I don't know if this is the face, this is the cover, this is the face, this is the back, this is the spine, what is this called? Pages? Well, I'll just call it pages. I don't even know what the parts of the book are called, and I wrote a book, oh no! <laughs> so we're going to use it for this edge, this edge, and this edge, so it doesn't really matter on the perspective, because you're not going to be actually be able to flip the book open 
although we could. And then it would become, instead of just three edges, it becomes six edges, because then you get the front and the back and the sides, and then the, never mind. Control Shift X uh, E to do an extract. We're just gonna call this book Pages. Just like that. Good. <clears throat> oh, man. 15 minutes and we've already uh, just done the, the first part. So now that we're done with the uh, GIMP program, I'm gonna discard all my changes. Let's come in here to Images, and I'm going to Import. Where is Photos? There we go. So we want the back, front, pages, and spine. <clears throat> Just so you know, I'm holding control and selecting so I can select multiple images. I'm gonna hit open, and these are all gonna be coming in just shortly. While that is uploading, I'm gonna go ahead and create myself a part, just a single part. Now I want to be able to hold on to this, so I think we should do a tool of some kind. We're just gonna call this uh, Ro Roblox Book. I think that'll work. That'll work, okay. Workspace, insert, object, and tool. Uh, I think that's how that works, isn't it? Isn't that how that, I don't know. I have, I have not messed with a tool in quite some time. The last one that I messed with was the pickaxe in my um, mining craft simulator thingy, whatever that was, it was a while ago. <clears throat> so let's, um, let's see. I think we take this Roblox book, stick it in here. We have to create a part, insert part, insert object, uh, no. Insert part, call it part. And we're going to rename this to handle. I think that's how to do it. You know what? I'm not gonna do this today. We're just gonna create the book. I will come back to um, turn it into a actual holdable thing later. But what we do want I'm gonna call this Roblox book. Actually, we should call it the advan ad advanced Roblox coding book. Nice. And we're going to add a decal. So insert object decal, decal, right there. Um, we're gonna stick that on the top. And this decal, come down here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where is it? Texture. I want this to be, uh oh. Where'd the decal go? Why are you, why did you go down there? <clears throat> okay, face is going to be on the top. There we go. Texture is going to be front. Okay, that works. Let's go to model. We're going to change its scale I want these to be 0.25 scale. So now I should be able to break that down, break this up. It's about the right size. Just like that. <clears throat> so next, we're just going to duplicate this, duplicate, and we're gonna call this front. We're gonna call this spine. We're gonna create a new one, duplicate. We're gonna call this one back. And we wanna duplicate all three. And we're gonna call these page top page bottom 
I guess consistency would be nice, wouldn't it? So capital P on the page. And page, I'm just gonna call it middle because I, I don't know what to call that part of the book. <laughs> so on the back, we want this to be, all right, since it was currently top, we're going to do bottom, bottom. And I should be able to move this part. So let's, uh, let's just move this up. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Zoop, there we go. We're gonna rotate this around. Where is it, right there. You can see the back there. <clears throat> That's not what we want. We want the texture of the back. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Whoever that was, you're an amazing person. Uh, select back, select image, go to, um, where is it? There we go, the back. Uh-oh. Failed to load. Request failed. Oh, uh, why did that fail? What? <clears throat> why did the back of my book fail? I had no clue. That's okay. Um, what was this? Uh, front, back, oh, spine. Spine. So let's go back over to the spine. And let's see. I think the front was the bottom. So let's change this to right. Would it be the right side? Yeah. The side facing us is the right side. It could be the incorrect side. I don't know. Just kidding. Let's go to uh, book back, book front, spine. There we go. Oh no! So our image for the spine is rotated. Oh gosh, no, this is gonna be horrible. <clears throat> Actually, would it be easier? I guess it would be easier. Okay, we're gonna change the dimensions of all of this because I just realized the front is actually a different direction. So let's change the scale. Squish, no. Just like that. Okay, so where the front is, we're actually gonna put on the front. Blink. Where the spine is, should now, ha ha ha. Just remember your dimensions are usually in the same same direction. Now why is the back not working? Back. I guess the back didn't load correctly, so let's go ahead and import the back again. Not that one. I want that one. Open. Try again later. What? Did it did it not like the upload? We'll have to come back to that. Okay. Maybe Roblox is like, no, you can't upload those things. I don't know. Oh, we want page. That's the page top. That's the page bottom. This one's actually going to be on bottom. And then page middle, we're going to actually have on the left, left hand side. So we can change this to pages. There we go. This top one, it's going to be rotated again, so let's go back to the top. Texture, it's gonna be pages. And we're not gonna be able to rotate that. Hmm. So how would we change that decal? Pages top. Transparency, no. Face, no. Page tops, no. Hmm. Can we do it as a texture? Insert object. Texture. Change this to page top. Um, let's go ahead and delete page top. This page top, 
Let's see, it's going to be on top. Top, 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 top. And its texture is going to be pages. Book pages. That sort of worked. We've got to rotate it though. Um, we're not going to be able to see it like that. So control shift. Whoa. Make this really big so we can select the textures and stuff. Pages top. We want to do. Um, still can't rotate. Am I going to have to do some kind of GUI on it? No, I don't want to do a GUI. Why should we do GUIs? Oh, the GUI. <clears throat> hmm. Something I can't think of right now. I don't know why it has completely left my brain. But we've got to be able to rotate it somehow, right? 1-1. One, one. 10 to 10. That doesn't look right. Pages don't go that direction. That's that's not how you page. That's not how you book. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to need to insert object surface GUI. And this is going to be on the top. And we're going to have to pull the pages in there. That does not work. What about the, okay. Let's go ahead and delete the texture. Pages, we're just going to duplicate that one. Put it into the surface GUI. Surface GUI is on top, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Of course. There's no rotate on this one either. Hmm. Oh, wait. What if I were to do it as an image? Hmm. You know, let's do this. How to rotate image on Roblox. How to ro rotate decal. Decal. Decal rotation. Hmm. From the dev forms. I was wondering, in my easy option, you are asking for a 9 degree rotation. I don't see any, uh, I don't see why we couldn't rotate nine degrees unless their form is nine degrees increments. You can change decals 90 degrees using the material flip plugin, but that's about it. And it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work in all parts. Okay, these are back from 2016. Where's something? The only problem with not border, I guess, decal stretch to fit dimensions. Okay, that's obvious. Sometimes a simple option. Why don't decals just have the option like image labels? Honestly, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what we could do. Here, hold on. Insert object image label. That kind of worked. <clears throat> I did not like that. Ooh. All right. Page in the middle we can destroy. Image label. Hold on. Is that the surface GUI right there? What in the world's going on? Maybe I'm just a horrible modeler. No. You know what? This is very solvable, and I just thought of it. Hold on. Destroy this. Get out of here. <clears throat> but we are going to use GIMP once again. Come here, GIMP. File. Recent. Where is it? Pages. Image. Oh, no. Let's just hit the rotate. Where's the rotate? Watch this. Uh-oh. What happened? Um, angle. 90 degrees. Rotate. Image. Crop. Zealous crop. It did not work. Control Z. Image. Crop to content. No. Control X. Control V. New layer. 
that does not work. Hmm. How about file uh, create from clipboard? There we go. That'll work. Control Shift E. We're gonna extract X. Uh, no, just Control Shift E is to uh, export, not extract. <laughs> All right. We are going to go into where did we go? We are in pictures, photos. I'm gonna call this book pages H, which means horizontal. Export it. I like it. I like it a lot. File. Close that. Let's get, get out of that. Ah, get out of there. Discard. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and import. Open. Try again later. Why? Why? Why should I try again later? All right, let's go to File. Publish. Publish to Roblox. Links filled with errors. Unauthorized. What? What do you mean, unauthorized? Our content moderators have determined that your behavior in Roblox is in violation of our terms of service. We will terminate your, your, your account if you do not abide by the rules. <clears throat> Moderator, the only links that you're allowed to share in, in a roblox.com, youtube.com, twitter.com, twitch TV, posting links and images, Images book back. What? What? Are you kidding, Roblox? I will destroy. No, I won't. I won't destroy them. Why is this? Okay. Hold on. Let's go back into my photos. What link did we share that isn't there? Uh, yeah, rotate. SimonandSchuster.com Really? R wow! Wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Roblox? Oh, I'm sending you this video. Oh, this is gonna be good. Hold up. <laughs> Alright, so apparently our book back cannot have links on it. All right, just Google it when you get a chance. Gosh. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go into... I, I am thoroughly dumbstruck right now. Okay, I agree to your terms and conditions. Reactivate my account. Go on. Get. Wow. Um, let's go to control shift right click. That just flustered me so much right there. Okay. Uh, what, am, what was I doing? Oh my gosh. Gimp. Come here, Gimp. Oh. <laughs> Happy release date. I just got a strike on Roblox. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Let's go to... Where was it? Um, book back. Oh, here. I'll just drag it in from photos. So we're going to modify this. Um, SimonandSchuster.com. I guess, I guess they didn't like the .com on there. So let's go ahead and take, copy this. We're just going to, wait, come here. What are, what are you doing? All right, take this right here. Copy. We're just going to paste it right over the top of that. And we can't say at, so, because we don't want to tell people to go off Roblox site. Be horrible. <clears throat> so that gets rid of the link. Meet the author, watch videos, and more. Shyman and Schuster. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Simon and Schuster and Adams Media. I apologize so much. I'm gonna have to rip up your your page because Roblox won't allow it. All right, I think Roblox not true. Let's just take a look. I want to make sure that I don't have anything else. The Advanced Roblox Community Box is an independent publication and has not been authorized, sponsored, or otherwise approved by the Roblox Corporation. Roblox is a trademark of the Roblox Corporation. But I still have my ISBN, my 1499, blah, 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 all that extra stuff on there. So. This is the modified version. Control Shift Extract. We're gonna make that the book back. Export. Replace it. Export over the top. That's why I couldn't save. That's why I couldn't publish, and that's why they were all upset. Alright. So let's go let's go back over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So we need the page horizontal and we need the new book back. Please, don't strike me this time. <laughs> Asset has been renamed to something. But it works. It works, I think. So let's go back to the, the back decal. Wait. Where's the back decal? Is, is that it? Right there? Why is it not? Oh, select. Okay. Can we do file publish? Publish Roblox? Successfully published. Okay, cool. So let's go back to here. Let's change this to look back one. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to close this and open it back up. We are. Close it. Publish, please. All right. We can close this. Uh, we're going to discard those changes. Go back into create. My goodness. I didn't realize the release date of this book was going to have so much cool stuff in it. <laughs> it has it has adventure, creativity, music. Hmm. Wow. Okay, there we go. We are back. Let's get into workspace. Advanced Roblox coding book. Open that up. Where's the back? Why is the back not showing up? Oh, it's on the bottom. That's why. Uh, let's do front back. There we go. Oh, yay! It worked that time. Thank you, Roblox. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh. All right. So, so this. So let's see. Where's pages? We got front, we got back, we got spine, pages bottom, pages middle, duplicate. We're gonna call this one pages top. Oh, lowercase, top. And it's actually going to be on the top. Top. We're gonna change this image to pages horizontal, just like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Oh jeez. okay. Let's go ahead and move this uh, up just a little bit. Okay, right there. That's the, the bottom part that we need. So page is bottom. We're going to go back down here, change the image to pages H. Beautiful. And there we have the amazing advanced Roblox coding book. Now it's a little, it's a little stretched, isn't it? All right, let's go back over here to the model itself. Scale this down some. It's about, it's about there. That looks good. How's the, how's the rest of this look? Is it about that thick? About that thick. There's a little extra at the top, and I'm, I'm not happy about that, but I'll be okay. I'm okay with that. The advanced Roblox coding book. There we go. The official Roblox book of awesome. And oh, I wish I could sign something in there. Uh, ooh, I guess I could. 
Uh, we're out of time. <laughs> it's been 40 minutes. Oh gosh. All right, let's uh, let's get this down here. Uh, I do want to anchor this one, so we're just going to grab this. Oh no no, I, I just just the, there we go. Go to model. I'm just going to anchor anchor. There we go. And I'm going to slap that right here for everyone to come and see and enjoy. Rotate. Actually, here, it'd be kind of cool if we uh, had it like lay down like this, kind of. So it was a, uh... no, no, I, let's, oh, over here, over here. Let's make it rotate like this. Okay, I'm going to scale that down just a little bit. Control shift. Nope, nope. There we go. About like that. And then let's rotate this up. Rotate this up, right? Like that. And then I could, should... Ah! <laughs> Move up like that. Down like this. Down. And rotate. Just slightly. Oh gosh. Uh, we want to free rotate, don't we? So let's let's unlock that, unlock the power of the free rotate. And rotate just a little bit more. Not too much, don't want it clipping anything. So there it's just barely touching. Right there, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're just gonna rotate just back slightly. Move that down. There we go. That that's good. That's good. I guess I guess we need to rotate it that direction a little bit. That, you know what? It's good. It's fine. What I would like to do is do duplicate. We're just gonna pull this over. I'm gonna scale this back down so it looks like the whoops. So it looks like the size of a book that an avatar would be able to hold. I'm just gonna stack a bunch of these here. So uh, we want to unanchor this. Duplicate. <clears throat> Duplicate. Wait, how many? How many do I have there? Come on, come here. What was that? What is? Control Z. Come here, you. Control Z. What are you doing? Oh, you're actually that big, aren't you? All right. Um, wait, where did you go? Yeah, we're going to delete you. <laughs> duplicate. 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 Just like that. And now I just take a couple of these. Duplicate. 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 Now we're just gonna start stacking them up. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Oh gosh, I just grabbed one, no. Okay, and I think these are all, so if I hit F5 and I play it, these should all be loose so you can like kick them around and stuff. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that is nowhere near the size of an avatar. By the way, <laughs> as as much bigger than an avatar, so that's that's not gonna do for me. That's uh, -uh. Uh, let's get rid of all these. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, I've got the moves like Jagger. No. Um. <laughs> there we go. Right there. Hold on. We have models inside the game code. Why don't you just? Decorate them next to the model. Okay, good point. <clears throat> there we go. That's that's about the size of a true book. So I like that. That's good. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Where's uh? Hold on. Come here, you. Jelly bean tree. Jelly bean gin. 
What are you looking for? Uh, if color, okay. Spawn time radius, parent, radian, jelly bean position, new transparency. Hmm. I guess I could just drop the book in. What is jelly bean? Jelly bean base. We're gonna call this, okay. So I'm going to just comment this out. I'm gonna take a copy of it and it's going to be jelly bean equals replicated storage dot code book. And we're just gonna call it code book. There we go. And give me a copy of this. Where are you? <clears throat> Duplicate. We're gonna move this into replicated storage. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, no, 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 control Z. I'm going to cut. Go to replicate storage. And paste into, oops, we're not gonna rename replicated storage. Code, code. So now, we should have raining books. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, I couldn't, I couldn't have done anything better. That is, that is too cool. Instead of jelly beans dropping, it's my book. The, the day my books drop, get it? I love it so much. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of this extended, like, how to make a game, me playing around, building a model of my book. Um, thank you Roblox for giving me a strike on my own image of my book. Oh my gosh. Roblox, call me. Seriously, we don't talk anymore. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber, but that's okay. You know, you know, deep down inside, I'm just, I'm just, you know, that resistant rebel that you guys know. I'm just kidding. I'm totally not. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Thank you.